Hey, what's up, YouTube? Digital Soul here? Psh. Yeah, what? What? How, how them Patriots do? What? Yeah. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. What, 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 what. That's right, size doesn't matter. Now check it out, I mean, back here we got PS1 games, and that ain't all of them. We got some PS2 games. That that ain't, this ain't all of them, man. I mean, come on. I mean, I even got Crazy Ivan, Street Fighter. Remember these boxes, man? Remember when it was cardboard, and you know what I'm saying? Remember with the little foam pad, and you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Remember all that? I mean, if you got the PS1, you remember these, right? But here's my thing, size doesn't matter. It, it just doesn't. Um, so many people have video games, and I don't know if we hold on to them for nostalgia or whatever it is, or because we loved it, and we're thinking that someday we're going to go back to it. And we do sometimes. But all that, <laughs> it just gets a little crazy, man, because i got to keep these things. I, you know, I can either put them away in a box, which is senseless because I'll never see them again, right? Or I can, like, stick them in an entertainment center somewhere, you know, and all these. And there's more upstairs because there's no reason to bring them all down. I just wanted to bring down some just to show you. Now, I've acquired these games over the years. It's not like I went out and I'm rich and I wasted my money on all these video games because I enjoyed each and every one of them, man. Enjoyed them. But what am I going to do with them now? If I would have traded those in, you know what I'm saying? I could have had some other games or something because now you try to trade these chumpies in. And except for a select few, like I got like Sukadin 2 or something. And that's worth some money on the internet. But. You know, you're talking like change, chump change, you know. So my advice to you is, honestly, trade some of your games in before they get too freaking old because you know you ain't going to touch them. There's no nostalgia worth holding on to all these games, man. I mean, I'm talking cardboard boxes. You know I pulled them out there, Dynasty Warriors 1 or whatever, too, because the first one was some kind of fighter. I mean, I go back. See, that's why I'm going to play video games until I get really old because I was around when they started, man. And I started playing a pong. You know what I'm saying? I've been here. I've been getting it done. And so many people keep asking me about, I'm reaching off camera. That's right. Because so many people keep asking me about my current video game collection. Well, I did have 10, remember? Well, I just traded in a bunch of games, man. What did I trade in? Let me check real quick. See what I traded in. Because I keep all my receipts inside here like I told you. I just traded in Hot Shots Golf, Grand Theft Auto. Yes, I did it. I did it because what was I going to get out of it, man? Except, you know, some online fun. And since I can't really enjoy the online like I'd like to because i got two boys i got to take care of. And I do get online because you people know that I'm trying to friend you. And that's another thing. Real quick before I go on with this. i got such a big list of people trying to friend me. Can I friend everybody at once or i got to sit there and go through each and every one, man? Because it's tedious. I had like 20 a day. That's crazy. Um, boom blocks for the Wii, it was my wife's Spider-Man 3, it was my son's Lego Indiana Jones, he was done with it, he said Virtual Fighter 5. I mean, I'm talking, I trade in games constantly. Because you're going to see stuff here that you saw in my last one that are no longer in my collection. Alright, and here we go. I'm going to show you my stuff and what I got now because I trade in my other stuff. Alright, here we go. Game 1, I got Lego Batman. Me and my son love it, we still play it. Wonderful game, man. I mean, if you're into the Lego series, you know what it's like. Because even if they make another one, you know what it's like. It's going to be the same thing. It's just different. And it's fun. You know what I'm saying? And my son likes Kung Fu Panda. So we own Kung Fu Panda, man. He liked the movie Jack Black Rocks, right? Jack Black, man. Getting it done. Being um, fun. Also held on to Dynasty Warriors 6 because my wife likes it. We could both play this and run around. It's got some chicks to kick some butt. So she digs that. Still got it. What else I got? Uh, games that I just bought. Smackdown vs. Raw 09. It's fun. I'm still creating characters and still loving it. Resistance 2, fantastic game. I'm still loving it. Little Big Planet, this game's getting a little hard, but it's still fun and I still love it. And something that I'm going to be doing Wednesday's review on, BOW! Call of Duty World of War, because I've traded like five or six games just to get this jumpy. But that's where I'm at. How many is that, man? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't even have ten games anymore, because I'm not going to get stuck with this. I am not going to get stuck with this for the PS3, man, because what am I going to do with all these? Throw them away? It's like throwing away money. Who wants to do that? Even though most of them are essentially worthless, man. I mean, what can I do? I got Tactics Ogre, 
freaking Wild Arms 2, Resident Evil 2, Tenshu 2, Twisted Metal, the first one, man. Remember that stuff? Remember all these, man? Lunar, Silver Star Story Complete, because I used to play some RPGs because they lasted a long time, man, and that's what I was all about. But I'm just trying to tell you, don't be like me, and I know you are. I know you got a ton of games there, man. I know you got a big old wall just dedicated to freaking video games, and they're everywhere, man. Trade some of that stuff in before it ain't worth anything. So you ain't got to go blowing all your money. Everybody's like, how you got all these games? How you getting all these games? Because I trade games in. That's how I do it. Yeah, you don't get a lot of money for them, but you acquire a couple of games. And yeah, you might have spent freaking fifty nine ninety nine on it, and you're only getting like 20 when you trade it in, but you're getting 20, man. Three games get equal new game. Sometimes I even get some percentage off. You walk in with five or something like that. You know, so trade your stuff in. Don't be stuck with a ton of games because size doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about the size of your video game collection, man. What matters is the quality of it, what you own at said time. Because just because you own something that's rare, that's cool. But just because you own something like Matrix Path of Neo, doesn't mean you're cool, you know. So this digital soul telling you, quality, not quantity. This has been Monday Off the Wall. I'll see you Wednesday with some Call of Duty World of War. But until next time, peace. Psh. I love you all, babies. Don't you worry, man. Don't you worry. I love you. Mm -hmm. What's up? Doherty Explorer Journey to the Purple.